breaking news. Nigeria government finally cried out as Samon Eba and BROGI families announced virtual tour in Americans over Biafra's referendum in 2024. Hear the news in details. Wonderful people of Biafran's lovers of freedom all over the world, you are welcome back to Biafran's national television. Today's date is 21st of February 2024. And we are welcoming all our new and old subscribers coming across our channel right now. We want you to stay put because we have a very urgent information to every age of you right now. Hmm. We got a very shocking information right now from the uh, Nigerians Daily Post. Nigerian government finally cried out as the matter is too heavy on them that Samuel Ekpa and BROGI families announce, uh, you know, uh, make announcement of Biafra the Freedom in America. A very great campaign going on right now as we are making this great broadcasting. And uh, as we go further to avoid to waste your time this is what nigeria's government said Eba announced virtual tour with beer fans abroad <laughs> as we go further then said a popular beer fans agitator separate salmon Eba have announced a virtual tour a virtual tour uh, of beer fans abroad Eba, freelance lawyers and a prime minister of Biafra Republic in exile, BROGI, disclosed this on Sundays through his official Twitter handle. Hmm. He notes that the virtual tour will be commenced on Sunday, 10 p.m. Biafra time. Uh, according to him, all lovers of freedom are expected to join the tour. Yes, exactly. This is what someone has said, and they, they take them lately. They said, Ekpa, as we go further, they said, Ekpa added that United States of America in the venues of the tour. In another development, Ekpa announced that the first Biafran embassy will be opened in Jerusalem. Immediately, it became an independent state. The first Biafran embassy will be opened in Jerusalem immediately. Biafran become an independent state, he wrote on his Twitter social handle. As you all can see, what Nigeria have to write about Biafrans, that they are now the ones sponsoring the freedom of Biafrans. Uh, you know, how will I put it? You know, sometimes God do use your enemies to fight for you. They'll be fighting for you. And as we are talking right now, don't deceive yourself. The whole Nigerian night now are seeking for referendum, including who is not an Igbo, including who is an Igbo. So everybody now is broadcasting on the freedom of Biafras to make sure that the freedom comes in a short time. The proverb said, "A hungry man is an angry man. Nobody, no angry man, uh, no hungry man will ever uh, agree with you that they will remain in Nigeria in this kind of condition like this." That is why you see that even Nigerian journalists are now advertising the freedom of Biafra. And to avoid wasting your time, Simon Eba is finally out to send his great information to all the Biafran's uh, families concerning what they should know and what will happen suddenly as we are talking. Simon Eba said he urged all lovers of Biafran's to join the tour as the hardship kept sinking in Nigeria. Biafran is systemically exiting. Hmm. And the Prime Minister will be on the visual tour to, uh, to America as he continues to seek support from Biafran's United States. Hmm. I hope all of you now can realize what is going on right now. And the Prime Minister is trying to send a warning and information to all the Biafran's families all over the world right now that the meeting will be commenced and a word on the lowest of Biafrans to join the meeting, to join the, uh, the campaign and the union as a hardship keep on sinking in Nigeria. Yes, that's, that, is, that is what we have to uh, say about this. The more the hardship, the hardships keep on sinking in Nigeria and they cannot be able to do anything concerning it because the more they try their best the more the best keep on trying them with hardship uh, promoting the evils promoting the atrocities happening in nigeria we go further 
we still have a very shocking protest going on right now in Nigeria as citizens are still protesting over what is killing them secretly and uh, you know they can't keep quiet anymore because surely you set a smoke in the hose of a rabbit give it a little time the rabbit will run out by force because when things is worse, they will now recognize that there is a way of solution. So Nigeria, let's watch this protest out and even know what is happening in Nigeria. Okay? As we go further. And as we are watching, don't forget to share this information to who it may concern. <laughs> We must not allow every other Nigerian to exercise their constitutional duty. Section 34, 39 and 40 empowers every Nigerian to organize a peaceful assembly and to speak about the economic hardship. On this note, this is not today's own. We are starting. This is just the start. It is a continuous action. Expect protest from any angle. It must not be me. It can be you. It is everybody. Because the problem does only affect only me. Neither I. It affects everyone. So on this note, Every Nigerian, whether home and abroad, anywhere you find yourself, if you have the capacity, organize, we will be there for you. If anybody stop you, we will come for your rescue. It is a duty in which we are signing for, and we must collectively fight for our liberation. Enough of this hike in our cost of living. No, we cannot afford to eat three square meal a day. Why those that are governing us, they can eat, and they are even riding on our own money. What they extort from us is what they used to live lavishly. Imagine a humanitarian minister who embedded a lot of billions into a private account. Someone telling us that there is an airport in Kogi in which they don't have any traces of it. That shows you how cynical and wicked these our leaders are. We just need their intervention. We do not want to fight with them. We are not here to cause any problem. We are just here to tell the government our, our problems that they should just look into this for us. That they should please look into the problem of the masses. Help us. Have mercy on us. People are hungry. People are dying daily of hunger. Insecurity is killing people. We just need them to help us. They should just help us. They just look into our case and be of help to Nigerians. That's just all we need. We are not here to fight. We are not hoodlums. We are not here to cause any disrupt to anybody. We just want to peacefully protest and tell the government what we want. It is our civil rights. They should just help 
help us and give us what we want. Insecurity is killing the nation. Hunger is killing the nation. Corruption is killing the nation. Please, our government should have mercy on us. That is just why we are here today. Um, this is our convergence spot, and from here we'll be moving to Songo, from Songo to Bolija, down to Gate, and back here where we are going to peacefully dispatch. We are not here to fight. We are not any anybody that causes any constitutes any nuisance here should face the consequences. He is not one of us. Anybody that has been caught is is on is on our home. We are not hoodlums. We are just peaceful Nigerians that wants to tell the, our government how we feel.